the com now tells us we're in range uh, to perform the maneuver as you can see we are at 450 feet so in order to do that same as we did on the uh, on the Torva we need to have our DAP to free and we're gonna use both X and Y translations we're gonna use the plus X to start getting up and then use the uh, the minus Z to uh, keep us in the closure rate we want the camera on will help us uh, judge everything else and uh, let's wait see what the ground looks like let's go uh, you know what before we go I just wanna stop here for a second and I'm gonna put in a video uh, this one is a the fly around, the accelerated fly around from STS 119. Uh, just have a look at it. Very uh, nice view of the shuttle uh, of the station. Just look on how it works, how the shuttle goes up and then goes down. This is roughly the view we're gonna l need to see in the overhead window as we go. So uh, let's just. I'll run this clip now and see what happens. Okay, now that we have seen what uh, the fly run looks like, let's see how we can do it the same. So we're back on the point we've stopped, we've got minus Z power on, LVLH with low, we got normal uh, Z and normal X. Uh, now we need to start the maneuver. First, let's set the depth to free and we start drifting immediately and we only need pitch. We need to unpause as well. So. As you can see, pitch is drifting. Let's help it a bit. 0.1 degrees second. Now, let's just 
wait for the uh, shuttle to, uh, to the station to drift a bit and we'll start by using uh, two second burns on the plus X so we got one two and wait let's wait for about 10 15 seconds before we uh, attempt another burn because we don't want to go straight up we want it, us to have some sort of uh, backward thing so the station will go past us so let's do it again one two and wait another 10 15 seconds let's give it a three second burn now that's one two three now looking in the overhead we can see that the station started uh, starting to move slowly and we can also see that it's drifting down in our window which is good now we just need to wait now on the first quarter lap we start at 450 and we need to stabilize at about 600 feet which is our uh, fly around distance once topside so we'll just let the distance open as you can see uh, it draws a very nice arc across the sky and let's give it ourselves a little boost on the plus X one two and wait now let's look at the camera it's in a good position roughly about the PMA and let's try and slow down the rate opening and again going up approaching the 550 mark station is on the top window we can take as many virtual pictures as we want and we're approaching the 180 pitch which is good let's wait for the space station to drift a bit more zero in closure we need to open up the distance but it's not drifting fast enough so I'll give it plus X for another four seconds we want to keep the station roughly in the center of the window not on the top side as we do now it will just help us a bit later on music off again so we helped it a bit now the range is opening up we are still on 0 0.1 of pitch child is moving uh, station is moving nicely in the window approaching 550 feet we're still drawing a nice arc across the sky 560 station is in a good position in the overhead window Time skip a bit more. Now we're about 600 feet. No, not yet. But we'll start slowing down anyway. With uh, the minus Z. Now, as we pitch past the 180 mark, we will start slowing down using those uh, minus Z thrusts. And we will practically overshoot the station uh, with the nose pointing that way so when we thrust up towards the station in addition to applying downward force that will uh, may help us descend below the station we are also stopping our uh, opening rate so it will be uh, pretty straightforward let's see 540 we won't get to 600 on top side we'll get to 600 on the way back I think doesn't really matter we need to be roughly 600 feet and keep on going now we're over above the station almost at the 180 mark 600 feet so let's 
Null this one out. Now we will constantly need to null it out throughout because as I said we're overshooting the ISS right now, starting from now. Once we cross it, we're starting to overshoot it. So we need to stop our uh, rate of closure. <coughs> 